Welcome to CG Taiwan and my name is Hammer Chen. In this video tutorial, we are going to create a stone or a rock in a procedural way. This video tutorial was inspired by an artist called Sasha Herrich from his CG Environments blog. The basic idea is uh, start from a very simple box. From this box, uh, we will uh, add detail with uh, displacement. We apply several displacement with different uh, procedural uh, texture, procedural map. And finally use a melt modifier to uh, modify the final shape of our rock. And then we will use a, a texture plugin called a Dark Tree or a Symbiont to do the texture of it. Uh, here I show you some example of our final result. So let's get started. Okay, we will start from uh, create a simple box. And we make it uh, 17, 17 by 17 centimeter in my example. And uh, with subdivision 5 to 5 to 5. And then apply a sphere fly modifier to it. Sphere fly. And in order to give detail when using displacement, you have to subdivide it more. So we apply a turbo smooth with five iteration. You can use four if you if your computer are not, not fast. Okay. So let's start to add displacement modifier to this sphere. And uh, as you can see, when you apply a displacement, the default UV, uh, UVW is set to pl planar. Uh, in our case, you have to switch from planar to spherical. Okay, and in this uh, map slot, click on none. And please choose the, the cellular uh, procedural map. In order to edit this cellular map, you have to uh, click and drag it into any slot of material editor and choose instance. For now you cannot see the final result. You have to increase the strength of the displacement. Um, so you can click and drag and see some effect are taking place so I could I type in five or four in my case as you can see the displacement are now shaping our rock and uh, the trick is to uh, change the color of our cell color um, so I change the color of this black to some gray color and the idea of this you can make this strength strength of the displacement to minus value for example I can type in minus 3 
and you as you can see in in our case the minus value will make this sphere much like a rock or a stone and the good good thing of this is this this modeling process is a uh, procedural that means as you as you change the size of our cellular map it will change the shape of uh, the rock to add detail to our rock you can add any number of displacement modifier to your uh, box model here I add another displacement modifier displacement modifier also change the map type from planar to spherical and I apply another uh, procedural texture in this map slot this time I use noise click and drag it into materials editor to edit the noise map type in maybe three okay now it's time to change the size of our noise it's, it's right now it's about 600 so I make it down to about 10 and uh, as you can see the results are not very good so uh, I change the noise type to from regular to fractal and uh, you can go to the output and enable the color map and uh, change the curve like so uh, create several vertex here and uh, play around with This curve. As you can see, in this way, we can add some dent or detail to our rock. and make it more subtle to decrease the strength maybe 0.1 will enough or 0.3 okay and finally I will add a melt modifier to it and increase the melt value Now we have uh, this uh, procedural rock. We can render it. Uh, in order to polish the final result of our rock, we are going to use a plugin called Dark Tree or Symbiont for the texture. And this is the Dark Tree website. As you can see, here provide many uh, procedural uh, rock texture. Uh, for example, the gray rock, which looks pretty nice, and uh, this igenous igenous uh, rock is also very good. And uh, you can download this all this texture from the download section. And uh, of course, it's a commercial plugin, but uh, the free version you can use it. Uh, the function is full function, but uh, without you, uh, you cannot add 
edit the map but you can use it as its default value okay so let's start using that uh, texture from uh, dark tree website open up your material editor and uh, click on any uh, slot uh, click on standard and they after you install the Symbiont Texture plugin, you will see a Symbiont Max uh, material type in here. As you can see, uh, in this slot, you, you can click on None and uh, choose the database uh, free, free download from the website. I choose strong IG, IGNUS DSTS shader file and apply to my rock and uh, hit render As you can see, the default uh, rendering, the default shader setup is actually looks pretty good. Okay, finally, I will change the value of my displacement from minus to minus value to uh, positive value about two. And uh, change the si size of uh, my serial map. As you can see, this will create another kind of rock. Uh, this will create a different type of rock. So, um, like so. So this time I will use another uh, symbiont uh, texture from this texture library. I will use um, stone sandstone. As you can see, create uh, creating a procedural rock model and mark, uh, rock texture uh, is very easy. So go try your own, try to create your own rock and your uh, stone model and have fun and see you. Bye bye.